the importance of choosing the right attorney for your immigration process. Hello, my friends. Welcome to today's video, where we explore a topic that's on the minds of many immigrants and individuals dealing with legal matters in a foreign country. It's a topic that can significantly impact your journey through the complex world of immigration and legalization. We are talking about the importance of choosing the right attorney for your immigration process. If you are considering immigration or dealing with legal matters in a foreign country, you may be faced with a mountain of paperwork and complex legal procedures. It's no wonder that many immigrants seek professional help by employing an attorney to represent them during the legalization process. In this video, we are going to explore why selecting the right attorney is essential, the qualities you should look for in attorney, and how to ensure that the attorney you choose aligns with your unique needs and circumstances. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. And if you find this content helpful, please give a thumbs up. Now let's begin our journey into the world of choosing the right attorney for your immigration process. Understanding the legal landscape. In Poland, for instance, the law allows almost anyone to act as an attorney in administrative proceedings, regardless of their educational background or qualifications. This means that when it comes to selecting an attorney, the decision should not be taken lightly. The person or company you choose to represent you can significantly influence your immigration journey. Qualifications matter. While some individuals may advertise themselves as attorneys, not all of them hold legal qualifications. In Poland, the law doesn't mandate that an attorney must be a lawyer. Despite this, it's vital to ensure that the person or company you select not only possesses a good understanding of the procedure, but also treats you fairly. Keep in mind that the actions of your appointed attorney will be legally binding and treated as your own. When choosing an attorney for your immigration or legalization process, it's advisable to employ someone with a higher education degree in law obtained in Poland. Choose wisely and seek recommendations. Attorneys are typically appointed in writing, although this does not always require notarization. In some cases, you can appoint an attorney orally when visiting a government office. To gain a better understanding of the attorney's reputation, review feedback from previous clients. However, be aware, as online opinions are not always genuine and may be part of a marketing strategy, a more reliable approach is to seek recommendations from people you know who have used the services of particular attorney. Regardless of recommendations, it's crucial to schedule a meeting with any potential attorney. The scope of power of attorney. When establishing a power of attorney, it's essential to define its scope and duration. Consider the purpose of appointing any attorney and ensure that both you and the attorney have a clear understanding of their responsibilities. A power of attorney may cover the submission of an application only or extend to handling the entire procedure until the final decision is issued. Typically, the attorney receives full power of attorney, which means they can represent the client in all aspects of the procedure. This means that the attorney can, for example, provide explanations on behalf of the client, review files 
related to the proceedings, collect administrative decisions for relevant authorities, even appoint another attorney to represent the case if necessary. However, it's important to understand that according to current law, the client has control over the scope of the power of attorney. This means that the client can specify whether the attorney should represent them in all matters related to the procedure or only in a specific scope. In summary, the client has control over the scope of the power of attorney granted to the attorney. It's important to clearly define the task the attorney should perform and the scope of representation they are granted. Passport handling and power of attorney. Here is an important note. Your attorney does not need to retain your passport for the entire duration of the proceedings. Your passport is typically required at two points in the procedure, when submitting an application and when a stamp is needed to confirm the legality of your stay during the process. Flexibility and cancellation of power of attorney. Foreigners in Poland have the right to dismiss their attorney at any time. This can be done by submitting a handwritten declaration to the relevant offices or by oral declaration during the office visit. It's worth noting that there is a fee for appointing an attorney for matters related to legalization of your stay, which is payable at the local governmental office. This fee amounts to 17 PLN. Pros and cons. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of having legal representation during your journey to legalize your stay in Poland. Understanding these pros and cons will aid you in making a well-informed decision tailored to your unique circumstances. Advantages of employing an attorney. Understanding legal procedures. An experienced attorney can help in comprehending the complex legal procedures associated with residence legalization in Poland. Document optimization. They assist in preparing necessary documents and ensure their completeness, expediting the process and reducing the risk of application rejection. Representation at offices. Attorneys can represent foreigners at government offices, saving time and the stress of personal visits. Problem resolution. In case of issues or complications, an attorney can act as a mediator, facilitating faster problem resolution. Local regulation knowledge. Attorneys typically possess knowledge of local regulations and procedures valuable for newcomers to Poland. Disadvantages of employing an attorney. Costs. Attorney services are fee-based, incurring additional expenses for foreigners. It's essential to clarify the fee structure and payment terms with your chosen attorney to avoid any misunderstandings. Risk of choosing the wrong attorney. There is a risk of hiring an incompetent attorney who may harm the client's case. Opportunity for independent handling. Some foreigners may handle the process independently, especially if they have a good understanding of the Polish language and access to necessary information. Privacy concerns. When using an attorney, foreigners must disclose certain information and documents raising privacy concerns. In summary, employing an attorney in the residence legalization process in Poland has its advantages, but it also comes with costs and risks. The decision to hire an attorney should be well considered, with foreigners assessing 
whether such assistance is necessary for their specific situation. Conclusion In conclusion, when it comes to selecting an attorney for immigration or legalization proceedings, first do your research and seek recommendations whenever possible. Choosing the right attorney can make a significant difference in your legal journey, ensuring that you receive proper guidance and protection through the process. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are looking for assistance in legalization of your stay in Poland, feel free to contact our team. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you next time very soon.